Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Sam. Welcome back to another video. You guys can stop not sleeping at night because AirPods 2 are finally here. We have been waiting on this product for what feels like forever and Apple released sort of three new variants of AirPods 2 today. I want to talk about all three. So if you guys are excited about that, drop a like. Always helps me out and hit subscribe so you stay up to date on all of the latest Apple news. So right now there are three different versions more or less of AirPods 2 that you can buy and each of these is set at a different price point. I actually did not think that Apple would give us these options, but they have. So first up, for $199, you can buy AirPods 2 with the biggest new feature, I would argue, which is the wireless charging case. Second, Apple also came out with AirPods 2 with new pods, but the same standard charging case from AirPods 1. So no wireless charging to charge this one, you just have to plug it in per usual. Finally, if you have AirPods 1, but for some reason have the desire to spend 79 buckaroos, on just wireless charging, Apple has made the AirPods wireless charging case available just for you. Again, $79, I don't really think that's a good deal at all. I can't really recommend it, but maybe you just love wireless charging and for some reason you wanna pay half the price of AirPods to just get that feature. So that's the case, that is the story with the case. I feel like it's kind of confusing that Apple sells sort of three different versions now, but I wanna jump in to AirPods to the pods themselves. There are not radical improvements here, so it doesn't mean it's going to be night and day if you already have AirPods 1, but here's what's new. There's a brand new H1 chip inside, which is something that I had never heard of until today, but I guess we all are learning with Apple because they're just making up new chips left and right. A lot of the time, I feel like Apple just makes this stuff up to make it sound fancy, but according to Apple, there is some functional advantage here. With the H1 chip, Apple claims you can get 50% more talk time. So if I guess you did a lot of phone calling or voice chatting on your AirPods, you get 50% more of that, which equates to around an hour, which could actually be a pretty significant improvement if you use your AirPods to in that capacity a lot. I never really talk to people that much on my AirPods. I'm really hoping that improved talk time also leads to better battery life when just streaming music from Spotify or Apple Music or watching YouTube videos while AirPods 2 are paired to your iPhone or iPad. And that actually leads me directly in to the next feature. And this one's actually big. I'm very happy to see this. This is something we weren't expecting, but it's here. That AirPods 2 will now pair twice as fast with any of your Apple-enabled devices. One of my biggest complaints with AirPods 1 was that it did take a second. And I saw a lot of comments online all the time saying, AirPods are great, but they take 30 seconds to connect to my MacBook. They take 15 seconds to connect to my iPhone. Well, I believe there is better Bluetooth in here, Bluetooth 5.0. And with that, you're getting twice as fast connection times to all your favorite devices. So let's say switching off from your iPhone to your iPad to your Mac is gonna be twice as good. The last major feature that Apple touts for AirPods 2 is hands-free Siri functionality. And this is the one that we heard time and time again. Apple provides an official screenshot of what it's gonna look like when you are prompted to set Hey Siri functionality up. So now rather than double tapping one of your AirPods as you've had to historically, you can completely hands-free talk to Siri, interface with Siri without having to touch your phone or your watch or even your AirPods. This one sounds pretty functional as well. There were a number of times when I was walking with AirPods, but I think I had my hands full. So I had to like do a weird double tap on my shoulder with one of the pods in my ear to activate Siri. Now completely hands-free, you have to set it up just one time in settings and once you do that, AirPods 2 are gonna be ready to rock and roll whenever you are. Because that's what AirPods 2 are. They are here for you. And in, in the press release, Apple's talking about how they're revolutionary and they're gonna change your life. And I almost forgot the greatest feature of them all. If you wanna ruin your AirPods, you can now engrave them and make them pretty much unsellable if you ever change your mind and don't want them. But if you wanna engrave now, you, you can do that on AirPods 2. All right guys, so those are all the new features. Now, of course, the big question is whether or not AirPods 2 are worth it. Well, of course, I and no one else on the planet has had a chance to review them just yet, but I would say that if you don't have AirPods yet, you should definitely get these. Uh, if you've never used AirPods, you've heard rumors about a second gen version and you've been waiting to just jump into the AirPods pool, then yeah, put on your swim trunks. Now's a great time to do it. And that was probably the worst analogy I've ever construed. Now, if you already have AirPods 1, I know a comment I've been seeing all the time is a lot of you are waiting for this because your battery on AirPods 1 was heavily degraded. It wasn't lasting nearly as long as it used to, sometimes only about half the time as when you first bought them. Definitely go ahead and upgrade to these because that's one of the biggest issues with AirPods 1 is that the batteries are so tiny, they seem to degrade 
really, really quickly. And that's definitely something I've noticed on my end with AirPods 1 as well. They just don't seem to last as long as they used to. And that was one of the main reasons that I was looking forward to this upgrade. I would also say AirPods 2 are worth upgrading to if you already have AirPods 1. If you care a lot about faster pairing, hands-free Siri functionality, the optional wireless charging case, and also faster device switching. If any of that you do a lot and you've been looking forward to, then again, I think upgrading is worth it. If only two of those features sound worth it to you, if only one of those features sound worth it to you, especially if you just got AirPods 1 recently. Like, I don't wanna make it sound like AirPods 1 are bad in their current state because they're not. Apple just sort of fixed a lot of the pain points of AirPods 1 in this update, and it's looking like they did a pretty good job. I, I'm very excited to get my hands on these. Of course, stay tuned for a full review, a hands-on, an unboxing. I'll bring that to you guys as soon as I get my pair. They are already on order. Overall, guys, the wait is over. AirPods 2 are here, and if you wanna buy them, they're out right now. I'll drop a link down below in the description. That's all I have for you in this video. If you enjoyed it, if you learned something new, always helps me out if you drop a like down below and hit subscribe so you stay up to date on all of the latest AirPods 2 and now moving forward, AirPods 3 news because we already have a lot of rumors and leaks for that. I've been Sam, hope you're doing fantastic, and I will catch you guys in the next one.